Hey, people, make an Irish soda bread. And I screwed up a little bit. Instead of adding um, two teaspoons of baking powder in the beginning with a dry blend, I added two tablespoons. So I looked up on YouTube when I see different things and could, could come fluffier, could come drier. Um, got the stuff right down here, see? You notice that. So my friend who was a baker, he's retired now, baker consultant. I called him up. I said, hey, man, hey, Jeff, you know, I screwed up here. Help me out, you know. So what I did, he said to counteract the adding too much baking powder, which could also make it taste bitter more flaky, I don't want that, I don't want it bitter. He said, add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. In this case, I put two teaspoons, I put two tablespoons instead. He said, put a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with, I have it with the mother, which is fine. So anyways, I'll let you know in the end how this comes out. Uh, I, I'm not gonna actually eat it till maybe next week. Um, I might just take it and freeze it and then we'll take it up at the cabin, up at the camp. And uh, I told my friend who'll be up there, he's a consultant, I says, uh, well, if he needs a beer or something and this comes out right, I'll take care of him for the night, you know, getting a beer and stuff. I didn't quite word it that way, but uh, you get the main idea. But anyways, so yeah, Here's my soda bread, a nice olive oil in my hands. I slap it around a little bit. And then uh, let me show you something else. It's preheated, so when I got this, I got to rub it all with butter and I put cornmeal on there. And then, uh, you know, obviously here's my bread. A lot of olive oil in my hands and I need, I kind of just squeeze it together a little bit. Make it nice and moist. Uh, you know, my wet blend is, uh, baking soda, buttermilk, and baking powder. And to that, I added the apple cider vinegar, the mother, to the dry blend. And uh, we'll see how it works out. Now, this is not Kate's buttermilk. This is, I started out with Kate's, but I actually make my own buttermilk now using this as a starter. And, uh, it works out really good. It really tastes good. So when you make your own uh, buttermilk, and that's what I did here. I've been doing it, you know, so, but uh, this is good stuff too. So, but um, that's what we're doing here, you know. It's one of my spoons I made there, just a strong spoon to mix up in there and whisk things. So, yeah, caraway seeds, baking powder, sugar, King Arthur flour. I like King Arthur flour, but, uh, yeah, just a little video on basically I might name it okay, you know. We'll see how it comes out. Um, when we eat it, we'll see how it is, man, you know. Uh, I'm probably not going to try it before we go to the cabin, but um, I have some other stuff in the freezer also. But, uh, yeah, so basically I just need this like this. And I get the whole thing, and then what I'll do is I'll cut this in half. The oil on my hands and the, and the knife and everything. I'll cut this in half and I'll put it in those two uh, baking uh, glass containers that I showed you. But uh, yeah, I do this and I'll get this and I'll handle it. And I already did. Do it some more. It doesn't hurt. So it's Quinny Esmo Fair Rod. Let me get back to you. Hold on. Quinny Esmo Fair Rod. Uh Peace, freedom, keep your eyes to the sky, not for planes. But uh, yeah, it's, it's been kind of mild around here. I hope it gets colder, especially we're going way up north, but uh, should be right. But I, I kind of wanted to show you this and I'm gonna write it on my recipe, we'll see how it works out. But um, yeah, oil my hands up a little bit. Got my pooch down there somewhere. There she is, right, mate? Meg. So, so anyways, that's what I'm doing. 
I put this in the oven, divide it up, put it in the oven, and uh, we'll have some Meyer soda bread. I'll take some pictures of it, and then uh, when I get to New York, I'll, I'll probably, I won't have computers or anything like that. We don't have cell phones, but uh, might be able to make a YouTube video on the phone and uh, kind of let you know how this uh, this makes out. My porch is over that way. It goes outside. I'm working with firewood and uh, spoon spatulas, cookses. I've been making a couple cookses. One came out pretty good. One cracked a little bit, but I think it's still good, but it looks good. Getting the hang of it. Starting to use my jig. So, but, so, you take care, man. And, uh, See how this works out. Give it a try, man. Take care. Whoops. Well, the uh, bread is ready. It looks all right. Uh, I won't know until I actually eat it. If the change is uh, worked out. But... Uh, Looks pretty good there, man. So, we're doing fine, man. Freedom. You take care. Let's see how this goes.